and welcome back. Now today we modified our stock air box. Now this already has a factory ram air package which is about five or seven horsepower more than the non ram air. Now the kit that we use to really help it since there are no cold air intakes for this and since k and and Volant don't make cold air intakes for this I'm going to assume that means that there was no power to be gained so it wasn't worth them to develop it. Now there are cheap Chinese ones but we're going to stay away from those because they don't take the time or effort to engineer them to work with the factory computer that we're running so we're just going to stay away from that and do our own thing. Now I'm using this 3 inch flexible air duct from Spectre. You see I've already put it on. It's 8741. Now it fit through the body of the car without modifying it. And I got it in the stock air box but I got it temporarily set up because if this works well we'll modify the air box so that the 3 inch opening clears in there and we get a little more air. But here is what is not seen on most cars when most people don't realize is under there. Now some of the other ones are worse like on our Sunfire if you saw it. It was a lot more restrictive than this. But this right here, your engine base here, there's an elbow that goes to your air box. Comes here. This creates kind of a silencer effect. And then you have this and it comes up. Now when you think about it, engine bay up. This is actually coming up behind the headlight. Now, you know the Grand Am. The rubber seals around the headlight so the air is not coming from there. And what it looks like is it may come around the grill and it may kind of circulate somehow and make it back into this somehow where it can suck it up. But what I did notice is that there's a hole cut out in the body right behind this. So it's probably sucking in hot engine temperature heat so that's not really that good so hopefully rerouting this probably helped as well as another modification we have made and I'm going to show you that now forgive the little bit of silicone here because this is a temporary fitment for now until we modify this after we see if we like it or not but you can see the duct comes up through here where the factory elbow did and then we have it running down and around and right to there. Now it's shielded from the weather and elements, dirt and rain there, but it still should get air from under and around the bumper, the openings. Now also, when this car is idling and you push the accelerator just a little bit and put your hand in front of that you can actually feel it sucking so it actually is pulling air through there fairly well so it's going to pull air from around the bumper now that air intake tube that I just recently showed you if you look here's where the headlight goes this little opening here it was actually the opening for that was behind here the headlight now there's an opening through the engine bay right behind there. So you're probably getting a lot of hot air from there. So this should help a little bit. Now it's a fairly cheap thing to do. And it's definitely not going to hurt your horsepower. Now the next thing we do is I don't know if this helped it or not. You may be able to see it in there. But if you ever look back behind there, there's actually a hole and then a piece of plastic. Now the piece of plastic is supposed to help divert the air into the ram air setup. But there's a big hole that's actually behind this piece of aluminum. And it's a very steep slope. So what I did was I rolled this aluminum and it sits under there. So number one, the air doesn't go into the hole and you lose it. In theory, it should roll up right into there when this little plastic guard is down. Now I may put some kind of sealer here, that way the air goes this way instead of trying to divert that way, but that's probably definitely better than nothing, because what I did was I took an air blower and a fan, and the fan sitting back behind the car, and with the 
ram air set up off the air box on my hand back there I could feel some air coming through so it's still getting air that way even at low speeds now I know that don't seem like much but sometimes less is more sometimes a simpler approach works better such as just taking that ducting and routing it from a cooler where air is cooler to the air box that's probably a lot better than trying to find a cheap Chinese cold air intake or anything else for the matter because one thing is is with the factory setup most cold air intakes are designed to eliminate the rubber boots from your throttle body all the way to your air box because there's usually bends and curves and restrictions in them now obviously the factory boot is from throttle body mass airflow sensor there to there there's not a whole lot there to replace so there really is no need for it because then there's your mass airflow sensor and there's your air box now this already has a can in it so even if you put an aluminum tube there it ain't gonna be much of a tube because you're gonna have a rubber boot on each side of it to hold it in place you're not gonna see much of a gain so the best thing is just a high flow air filter element in the box and the ram air setup works extremely well so there really almost was no need for improvement which is one of the rare occasions that a cold air intake is not worth it now hopefully this information proved helpful to you now I know it doesn't seem like much but like I said earlier sometimes a simpler approach is a way to go sometimes a cheaper approach is the way to go so this is just the way I modified mine that don't mean you have to do it to yours that way you can take this ideal and go about a different way or just come up with your own ideal but as always thanks for watching